Cooper and Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTG Global. What are you feeling? Creme de la creme apple juice. Yeah. Pressed. Pressed. Not concentrated. Extra cloudy. Ooh. Anthony Yard. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, I'm fantastic. How are you? I like the way you rocked up today. What, tracksuit? Generally, no F's given. Tracksuit. Lions in the camp t shirt. You know how it goes. <laughs> Is that you? That's me, B. Can't you see the lion? Can't you see the lion? Lions oh, in the camp. I'm Come feeling on. that. I'm feeling that. Beast from the east. Versace esque. I don't tell them to do that, but they put a little flair on it. It works. It works. <laughs> now, literally, um, I'm in the process of moving the house. I wanted to come suited and booted if I could do both. But, um, yeah, I had to come in tracksuit because I couldn't get, couldn't get my stuff. My stuff's in storage, isn't it? So, you know, it happens. It happens to everyone, <laughs> don't worry. Um, yeah, exciting uh, press conference today. It's just called to see where your kind of future and the other fights' futures are with BT Sport. Yeah. Um, the launch of a new pay-per-view channel coming soon. Um, a lot of Frank's, all Frank's fighters are, are, are going to be fighting from uh, on BT Sport exclusively from September. So yeah, a lot of things happening. Big things happening, man. You know, again, British boxing and world boxing is blooming. So again, it's always exciting for young prospects like myself seeing that and um, it gives us extra motivation saying stay focused. That's what I'm saying to myself, stay focused then. Stay focused then, you know, there's big things happening. So again, when someone's destiny is written, um, you know, nine times out of ten they don't get interfered with. Only you, only you can interfere with it. Um, again, that's what I've got in my mind. That big things can happen if you stay focused. Um, there was talk of you being offered a world title shot and you turning down a world title shot. Me? Yeah. Was you offered a world title shot? I heard I was. Mm. Again, people always say you was offered. Um, what people need to understand is you and your team was offered. Again, you have a manager for a reason. If you was making your own facts, um, if you was agreeing to fight yourself, you had all the responsibility and everything like that, you was televising your own facts, then there will be facts happening all over the place. And anyway, they will just be happening. But again, you got promoter, you got a manager. And again, manager and promoter talk or discuss things and then, you know, you come to the fighter. With me anyway, some fighters ain't involved at all, but I like to be involved. So um, I like to sit down um, with my team go through things and look at the best possible route. And again, I have 12 amateur fights. I think I'm ready. But again, it's not about, um, it's not a kamikaze and saying, I just want to swing anyone. Again, I'm, I want to be in a big fights, but everything's timing. And um, when things are being explained to me, I understand. I'm not one of the people that's going to go out and start making up lies on camera or start saying, oh no, that didn't happen or anything like that. Yes, the offer did come through because I think the, num the guy that he was meant to fight turned down the fight as well. I think his name Brown or something. I ain't gonna make up no names, but the guy I know who the guy I know his face. He turned on the fight. I think they went down like four people, and again I think I was a fourth or my team was a fourth team to decline um, because simply because I don't think my team don't think that I should be in world title fights yet. I only had 12 amateur fights. Um, there's a lot of domestic fights that that can happen, and um, yeah, everything's timing, man. I feel like well, they feel like a world title scene ain't right as yet. There was obviously a, a kind of public offer made by Eddie Hearn uh, for you to fight a uh, new British champion, yeah. Callum Johnson, which obviously disclosed. Um, I actually sent one of the emails <laughs> live on IFL, not live, but you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> well, that will at IFL, see? Told you, the TV channel, man. <laughs> the views. No, but the offer was put out there, and yeah. obviously, you know, um, what was your initial response to that? Obviously, as far as I know, that. You're fighting on June the 23rd, which Frank uh, and your team have said that that's the date you're fighting on the Saunders Murray card. So, what is your understanding of that offer, and what did you make of that offer? Again, Eddie Hearn, man, this is what I'm saying. Eddie Hearn, Frank Warren, the promoters, the best promoters in the game know how to talk on camera. They know what to do to create attention. I love it. It's just it's, it's building again. Unfortunately. There was a situation built brewing or building with me and Frank Bigaloni. I think he took one fight too many. Um, I think he got knocked out by the wrong person. It was it would have been a bigger fight, in my opinion, um, if me and him had the fight um, when it was when there was so much buzz around it. Oh, dude, you know how it goes. Oh, dude. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. What's that mean? You alright? <laughs> yeah. 
So, Come on. Jeff's very guy, well today. He's a, I would say he's the next up, but he's up now. <laughs> I mean, and, and he's, he's up, guess what and he's up now. No, and he's been, um, what can I say? None of you motherfuckers can take <laughs> <laughs> Andy don't talk no shit, but I'm, I'm saying none of you motherfuckers can test it. I mean, all these motherfuckers gonna bring their AK. All these motherfuckers gonna bring their AK, but they gonna get their ass. Thanks. <laughs> 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 I'm out. Okay, uh, cool, man. Man. See you later. See you, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see you. So, um, was it of interest to you? Obviously, the amount. Oh, and definitely. As soon as I saw it, look, the amount. What was it? What was the amount? Well, that wasn't public, so I'm not going to state right, what cool. it was. So the amount, put it this way. Um, I'm just seeing the numbers do this. <laughs> they're doing this. They're not even going all the way. They're not even escalating and going up. They're doing this. So I don't see why numbers are dropping. Um, again, the number that I got was a lower number than uh, I got offered for a non-title fight. So again, see, a lot. Of, that's what I'm saying. There's, sometimes there's people bluffing. Sometimes there's people just talking for, for the sake of talking. Um, people know, like, put it this way, in boxing, yeah, people know when you're not going to accept something or when your team's not going to accept something. Again, these are experienced people. So, if I, if I say Coogan, I'm going to give you £10, yeah, to drink this cup of water. Done. Yeah, £10, yeah. And then I say, that's water, yeah. So that's, that's a nice juice. You're back in the drink. What's wrong with you? Are you thirsty? I was, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll give you 10 pounds to drink that water here. And then I say, look, there's nothing in this glass. Absorb this air <laughs> for £3.50. <laughs> Which one are you going to choose? You're going to drink the water because there's something in it. Get me? So it don't, well, sometimes it don't make sense. You know, there was, a, there was a title on the line. I'm getting offered less. When there was no title for fighting for, like, tuning up fight for a title, I'm getting offered more. But again, um, certain things are in the past. Um, with Frank Bugaloni again, I hope he can recover well. You know. What did you make of his defeat? Were you shocked by it? You know what? I didn't see it live. I didn't see it live. Um, people, I just saw, started seeing people at me. I was like, oh, what's happened now? You no, know, I don't really go on Twitter, but sometimes you just click on one thing and then you start seeing things. So I'm like, oh, you got knocked out in, in one round. Again, it can happen to anybody. Um, it's, it's boxing. You probably got caught cold or whatever. But again, I'm not at here. I've never said any bad words about bad Bugaloni. Because in my mind, I was like, unless we're going to fight, it's air. It's air. He's had offers. I've had offers. Actually, no, I didn't get an offer from Bugaloni. That's a lie. I didn't get not one offer. Um, he's had offers. He's, he hasn't accepted them. He's just been talking, etc. So I said, there's no need for me to talk right now. Um, when the time's right, the, time, the fights will happen. And when, for me, what matters is when you're in the ring or when the fight's actually made, there's time to entertain because the fight's happening. Like, people got something to look forward to. It's not a guessing game or thing. Oh, is the fight going to happen? Is it not going to happen? People got something to look forward to. So when the fight's actually made, it's entertainment time, especially in the ring. Opponent-wise for June 23rd, is I'm it? I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but I know it's going to be someone that's going to, again, um, with boxing again, it's about progressing my career. Um, I hate to keep screaming about it, because I don't really care about my amateur experience, um, but I had a little bit of amateur experience. Um, you know, I've still got certain styles that I need to fight. Um, my last fight, I fought a two range guy that, that was on the back foot a lot. First time I fought someone like that, he took me seven rounds for the first time. Um, I had to figure something out again in the ring on that day, gain a new piece of experience. I haven't fought a southpaw yet. Um, I haven't fought someone yet that trods forward for the whole fight or puts his head down and just swings. Um, Again, you know, what, no one's done that to me yet. I've seen people, I've seen some of my opponents do it to other people, but no one's actually done that to me yet. So, again, there's certain facts I need to have, or my promoter, my manager think I need to have. Um, and that's all going to come with timing, but again, it's going to be entertaining, 100%. Anthony Yard, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. You know how it goes. Beast from the East. Lions in the camp. <laughs> we'll, we'll catch up with you soon. Uh, love, my Top man. Thank you very much.